Dear colleagues, this is an unedited FACO surgery. The main incision is being placed on the steep axis as determined by a corneal topography. It is at around 10.30 o'clock in this case. And now we are going to use viscoat. This is viscoat. We are going to use adequate amount of it. And now I am going to inject HPMC just over the anterior capsule and this HPMC pushes the viscoat upward uh, and the viscoat sticks to the corneal endothelium and gives very good protection of the corneal endothelium. Now two paracentesis incisions have been made one at around 8 o'clock another one at around 1 o'clock. Now this is capsular axis. The capsule has been incised and a nice flap has been raised. And this is a uterator forceps. This uterator forceps holds this flap nicely. And I move this uterator forceps anticlockwise and make a continuous curvilinear capsular axis of adequate size. The, the forceps rests against the anterior leap of the main incision and leakage of HPMC is minimal when it rests against the anterior leaf of the main incision. Hydrodissection and hydrodelineation has been done. Hydrodelineation didn't produce any gold ending in this case. The nucleus is depressed and rotated. Viscoelastic substance HPMC is injected again. Now is the time to enter into the eye with the FACO handpiece. In this case we are going to use Oatly Cataract's Easy FACO machine from Switzerland. Here it is. And I am going to do direct chop in this case. This is not a uh, hard cataract, it's rather soft cataract. But I will be able to hold it. Yes, I am holding it at the center. And I just cut the nucleus into two halves with the chopper. Hold it again and divide the heminucleus into two parts. And this is the another heminucleus which is also divided into two parts. So I'm in FACO 2 mode from the beginning. The FACO power in this case was 45%. Flow rate was 40 and vacuum was 400. So all the four fragments are emulsified and removed. Now in this case there is a thick epinucleus. I have to manage the epinucleus and it is going to take as much time as the nucleus. I am trying to hold it and bring it to the center. Yes, I have been able to do that. And now I emulsify the nucleus with very low energy, about 20% and remove it. And now in this case I want to use bimanual but I don't want to wait for uh, I don't want to waste any time. So by this time when my assistant is preparing the bimanual irrigation aspiration I am taking the lens examining the lens whether the lens is nice or not. Sometimes there may be some particles sticking to the lens. Yes the lens is fine. I am placing the lens inside a cartridge which is available from about. Though the lens is from it's a hydrophilic lens from another company. And now the lens is ready for implantation. I take bimanual irrigation aspiration now. Remove a little bit of viscoelastic substance. Go irrigate from 8 o'clock side port and I just aspirate the cortical matter with the aspiration probe of the FACO machine. I change the probes. Now irrigation is from 1 o'clock. I go through the 8 o'clock side port and I remove the cortical matter which is there on the this side. And now I have to polish the posterior capsule as much as possible. We must be very careful in polishing the posterior capsule because this is 
a time when polishing you may cause a piscident though at this time if piscident occurs it is the safest time you can convert the piscident into a posterior capsulorexis and implant an iol in the capsula bag now is the time to implant the iol i'm going to implant it under irrigation here it is irrigation forms the entire chamber the lens is injected into the capsular bag the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is just by a nudge the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag whatever little viscoelastic substance was there in the lumen of the cartridge is irrigated out that's it the case is almost over this is moxifloxacin it is injected and i keep it for a very short time i am going to remove this this, this moxifloxacin after hydrating the side ports at least part of it now i take the irrigating probe of the fake machine so in this case we have done two things one is modified soft shell technique and use of bimanual ia which is new in my surgery that's it the surgery is over i am checking whether the incisions are intact whether it is leaking or not i am satisfied i am checking the intraocular pressure by uh, filling with mm, digitally and it is fine so here i conclude thank you very much